G'day guys, welcome back. I'm going again with my jiggle paw. <laughs> I've made my paints a little bit thicker. I've got a little bit less paint. I've only got, well, probably a third of a cup of gold left. So I'm just gonna use that. And uh, <laughs> I'm gonna see if we can do it again. Less gold. Okay, uh, if you missed the previous couple of videos, I'm just using Floetrol for my pouring medium. The black there is the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic. One to one with Floetrol. The white is uh, two parts white and one part satin enamel. Actually, I should start again because I did one part white to one part flow troll and then I added half a part of this just to make it a bit thicker. So that's what I did with that one. The gold is one and a half times paint to one part flow troll so it's a bit thicker too. And then the blue here is just the Artist Loft Liquitex Basics with a touch of black to make it navy. And then I've got turquoise blue with um, a little splash of black to make it a little bit darker too. So that's what I'm doing. Um, the other thing I'm gonna do is, I think I'm gonna coat the whole thing in white um, and, then, and then pour. So yeah, I'm thinking I'm gonna do that. Hmm, maybe not. <laughs> I can't decide what I wanna do. All right, anyway, I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna put some white in the bottom first. And then go with the navy. I should move that out of the way, shouldn't I? So I can put that there. Go with the navy. Now, a little bit of gold. The other thing I think maybe I'm doing wrong is maybe I'm getting too close and because I'm doing those big kind of jiggles I'm doing folds and my folds are quite thick so when I get my rings they're quite thick because I keep doing the same thing and I keep getting the same result so I need to change up something and I'm thinking that maybe it is the way I'm pouring I'm doing the big folds and therefore I'm getting the big um, ribbons so I'm going to change that up and see if I can pour a little bit more sort of dainty <laughs> I'm gonna put more white in there my white got lost last time I was trying to use not so much paint but that ain't happening so just the two layers of gold still got a little bit of gold left I'm just gonna leave that and finish off with the navy okay so another big full cup still got a little bit of paint left and I've got some white left so I'll do, I will do the white puddle, but I'm going to just try and pour differently this time. I've got some white left over and that'll be for my, my edges. Okay. I'm going to see if I can pour slower this time. I'm getting thinner, a thinner stream. Still doing my little jiggle, but a thinner stream, taking longer. And hopefully, it'll be an improvement. Although I can see a big gold 
shimmer over everything. Oh well. Maybe this is just not my thing. Because normally I'd pour much faster. Oh, there comes some gold. And I'd pour much closer to the surface to get my fingerlings. So seeing if this is going to be any different. What do they say? A sign of madness is doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. So I was doing the same sort of pour over and over, expecting the same or expecting a different result, but getting the same result. So obviously something had to change. And we'll see if this is better. It's looking different already. I have got much finer little fingerlings and things, haven't I? Still got a gold haze over it. All right, uh, let's do some white. I think I might just thin this white out just a touch. A little splash of water. You know how I like my flowing hands to be a little bit thinner than the other paints, just so that the puddle will flow right over it and not kind of hit a bump and not want to go over it. So that's why I do it. Um, I've got a little bit of navy left here, actually. I wouldn't mind putting some navy just on the edge. I like having the navy on the outside. One day I'll actually put navy on the edge and just have a, a navy background because that would look really pretty, wouldn't it? Hopefully I won't lose all of the navy. Put some there. And some here because I've already got some there. Probably will end up tipping it all over, but I'll try and keep it a little bit of it anyway. Same here, see if I can keep a little bit on the corner. Actually, probably would have been better if I'd put the navy on the corner rather than here because that's just going to roll over the top of the navy, isn't it? Silly woman. Silly woman. Yeah, I should have put it there because that's just going to roll over it. Next time. Live and learn. Okay, let's spread this. I'm liking the look of it so far. I don't know whether my flow troll here in Australia is different to the flow troll in the States. Because I mix mine one to one with Artist Loft. And um, in the States you guys mix it two to one, I think. And uh, by the looks of it, you get about the same consistency. If I did mine two to one, it would be really, really thin. Okay, that'll do. Okay, um, now I'm going to go off here and here first because I'd like to keep as much navy as I can.
go, lady, don't go. Don't go, don't leave me. Okay, wow, I love that metal bit. This is interesting. It's kind of like webbing or lacing. I'm just trying to decide how much white I want to keep. I don't think you have to go over every corner. Like, you know, why do you have to? I don't think you have to. Especially if the only bit of white in my painting is that little bit in the middle I think it would balance it nicely to have some white somewhere else so I'm gonna go over here I'm just gonna see what it looks like with some white on the corners I can always go over them later Want to contaminate my stick. It's just because I've got that white in the middle. I, I just feel like I need some white somewhere else. I'm going to leave that. I'm going to leave that like that. Who says you have to cover the whole thing? in the poor colour. Might leave a bit there as well. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Or I might leave those two and then cover this and leave that. Can just have a little play with it, hey? See what you like the look of. In saying that, I have got a lot of paint on the surface. I may actually have to tip some of it off because there's a lot there. So if I'm wanting to keep white corners, I probably need to make 400 grams in my cup instead of 500 grams in my cup or less. you guys could answer me as in what you like what you don't like hmm. see if I go off the corner here that'll be all gold over that corner and I'll lose my blue and I like this bit of gold here so I don't want to go over there so basically I've just got too much paint on my surface. <laughs> I'm going to have to take some off here. Just a little bit. Should I take some of that gold off there and take it up to the navy? How's that? That way I don't have a big gold square in the middle. That's better, isn't it? 
think I need to come down here a little bit more. I'm just not quite happy with that there. Okay, wow, I'm loving that. I really do love that. Got my navy center, got lots of white in the middle, balances with some white on the edges and that through there. A little bit of white on the edges, just to balance that white in the middle. What do you think? Do you like it? Definitely this way of pouring was better. I went a bit slower. Um, I mean, you still can't see bands in between the gold there. It's just, it's just a big block of gold. Um, maybe I put too much gold in. Maybe I have, still have to reduce my amount of gold here because I'm just getting a big block of gold. So maybe... Um, but I, I really like this sort of webbing effect here. That's totally different for me. I've never done anything like that before. Let me just fix my edges. I'm going to leave this white. Again wasn't anything that I was expecting <laughs> but um, I like it anyway it's really pretty haven't got the haven't really got the fingerlings that I did have last time because my folds were as you saw much smaller um, just need to fix this corner No, we don't want white in you. Go away, white. No, we don't want white in you. No white in the corner. Okay. A little bit more there. That's white. That corner's white. I just need to fix up that corner there. I'll do that later. You don't need to watch me do that. Um, need a little bit of gold just there. And a little bit of blue just there. I didn't actually pour over that edge. Oh, I need a little bit of navy just there. Um, here's a bit. Yep, that'll do it. Right, let me get these grubby gloves off. I'm going to give it a torch. I guess I did have a lot of white in the bottom this time round, and I put more in because last time I didn't have enough white, so I kind of overcompensated and put more white in this time. To reduce it even more. I don't know that I can reduce it even more. Let me just finish this bit of white while I'm here. It's 
just in case I forget to do it later. It's always best to do it while your painting is wet. It's a bit hard to add on when it's dry, it kind of leaves a bit of a, a blob. Okay, that's it. I love it. Turn the light off. So for um, composition wise, the only thing that I think I could do, and you guys will probably hate it if I do it, is pull from there down off. So I'm just left with that and just take all that off. I'll think about it. I'll leave it for now um, because I do like the way that the white is centered. But I could take that whole third of the painting off, couldn't I? Hmm. But then I'd lose that navy at the end there. No, I'll leave it. I'll just have to keep doing these. <laughs> it doesn't really look anything like my last one. Where's the last one in there drying? Doesn't look much like that one, does it? They're just different. Okay, so you can see the gold sparkling there. Shimmer, shimmer. I got this wispy, wispy edges there. Look at those. They're really pretty, aren't they? And then over here, those wispy areas of sort of they go into the middle. You get these very fine lines. It's like it's like they're tree roots coming down. Look at that. Very, very fine. Just amazing. I've got that nice depth of colour there, the navy. Got some turquoise on the edge there. And again, these little wispy edges. really unusual. A few little white cells popping up here and there from the torching. They may grow a little bit more, I'm not sure what they will do. But uh, yeah, the only thing I'm not happy about is all that gold, that big, big thick band of gold around there. If it was just a little bit like that, I could deal with it, but it's just a big thick band so really I need to make up a quarter of the gold that I would normally use and just put in really really small little blobs in my layers what do you think would that work look at that that is just that is an amazing shot just there looks like water rushing past a rock <laughs> I see the weirdest things in paintings. <laughs> but no, I'm really happy with this. It's turned out really pretty. Hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you like it. Have a go. Show me what you've done. I always like to see everyone's work. And uh, please join Pouring Your Heart Out with Julie on Facebook if you're already not a member. Join up and show me your paintings. Alrighty, I'll leave it there. Love it! Thanks for watching. Don't know what I'm going to do next. <laughs> I'll see you for the next one anyway. Bye for now.